How's it folks? The new exotic weapon rarity added in the latest patch is the one to aim for now. Each one should come with an extra perk so they should have 5 perks and 6 if you add on the legend level damage bonus that shows up on its stat screen. There are a couple of ways of earning the exotic weapons. Firstly involves opening the new pilgrim chests that you receive from defeating the new GRE aberrations and I'll go into more detail about them later. Secondly, you can get them from legend level chests you earned each time you leveled up, as well as possibly from the chest from the Pilgrim's Outpost, although I haven't confirmed that, and I'm not interested in gambling my tokens for that chance. And finally, I was also able to get one from the bounty level chest that you get after completing 7 bounties, although that weapon came out as a level 6 weapon, even though I was earning legend levels in my new game plus save. So I wouldn't back on that being worth it at the moment until Techland gets around to making it so you don't get underleveled gear anymore. I found the most reliable way to get the exotic weapons was from farming the GRE aberrations for the pilgrim chests. I managed to get 3 exotics in about 30 pilgrim chests, making it about a 10% drop chance, but of course I'll need more data to have a better idea. It is also fairly easy to farm the GRE aberrations by fighting them normally. You can complete each run in about 45 seconds on average and if you pull off a certain glitch, you can complete each run in about 5 seconds. But first, for those of you who haven't come across the GRE aberrations, you need to kill the normal weaker GRE anomaly first. After that, teleport somewhere else and when you return, there should be a poster outside the door letting you start the mission. I personally prefer the one just outside the safe zone where you can do the sparker card dating quest cinema bobby near the bazaar as it is also close to the metro fast travel point and if you get spotted by volatiles and start a chase on the short way there you can stay in the safe zone until the chase ends and then hop on down to start your farming. I also prefer this post as it spawns with two poison goons which is easier to deal with compared to the demolishers that can spawn in some of the other areas. I would recommend a quick one-handed weapon like a machete with brawler gear focusing on one-handed damage, infected damage, damage at night and if you can, stammer regen on quick attack. In the current build of the game, if you chuck a throwing weapon at the zombie as it spawns, you will receive the XP as if you killed it and a possible instant kill it. After trying different variations with timing using the throwing pan and throwing knives or the grappling hook, I haven't been able to perform the exploit that instantly kills it as it spawns. However, I did get a massive chunk of XP almost every time as though I had killed it. So maybe it is impossible on PC with a mouse and keyboard or maybe I just suck at this. <laughs> I will have the Reddit post by It's Slim Jesus linked in the description so that you can see that it is possible. Although it looks like they did it on console so my fragile ego is thinking it may not be possible on PC. If you choose to fight it normally, it first jumps to the rubbish dump right in front of the entrance you came from depending on how much damage you do while it's busy spawning, will determine what stage and position it moves to after it summons its first swarm. If you can get it down to less than 50% health, it will either jump to the far crate or the middle rubbish dump and then you can finish it off. Otherwise, it will likely jump to the far rubbish dump to start a second summoning. After killing it, you will immediately be teleported outside. You can either open your new crates that will be in your backpack in your inventory or you can go again and pile up those crates to open them all at once. Also, don't forget to pick up the loot bag of the previous aberration you killed as it should come with a unique trophy, a yellow valuable and 100 mutation samples, which nowadays can also be handed in to increase your legend levels, making this a very effective legend XP farm in the current build of the game as well. Also, don't forget to claim the Nightmare Gloves blueprint in the Pilgrim's Outpost, as the issue that was preventing people from claiming it seems to be resolved. I hope this video is helpful for farming exotic weapons and if it changes in the future I will make another video about it. Otherwise I hope you all have a fantastic day, take care and cheers for now.